foreign banks have not had a good run in India. With the exception of Singapore's DBS Bank, many foreign lenders have either exited their Indian business or cut their presence here. And Citi, an American bank, has now joined the list. Axis Bank will acquire Citi India's consumer businesses, which includes credit cards, retail banking, wealth management, and consumer loans for 12,325 crore rupee or about $1.6 billion. Axis Bank is also buying the consumer business of Citicorp Finance India Limited that deals with commercial vehicle and construction equipment loans besides personal loans. With this, Axis Bank will get Citibank India's about 30 lakh unique customers. City has been in India for a long time. It entered the country in 1902 and the move to scale down in India is part of its global strategy to exit retail businesses in 13 markets to conserve capital and focus on higher yielding revenue streams. City's exit from the consumer banking business is not that uncommon as global banking majors have scaled down their operations in India recently. In 2011, Deutsche Bank sold its credit card business to Indusind Bank. Barclays scaled down their India operations in 2012 in line with the strategy to move away from retail banking to corporate banking, investment banking and wealth management verticals. In 2013, UBS exited India while Morgan Stanley surrendered its banking license. Likewise, Merrill Lynch and Standard Chartered scaled down their operations in 2015. In 2016, Commonwealth Bank of Australia exited India. The Royal Bank of Scotland PLC also exited the corporate, retail and institutional banking business in India in the same year. HSBC also cut the number of branches the same year. Most recently, BNB Paribas shut down its wealth management business in India in 2020. So why are foreign banks leaving India? Well, foreign lenders have cut their presence due to a slew of reasons, be it changing global strategies or changes in technology which make branch banking redundant. The foreign lenders also have concerns with the regulatory landscape. One major concern is priority sector lending, under which they have to devote 40% of their loans to segments mandated by the government or face a penalty. Another issue for these banks is that they would have to operate as a wholly owned subsidiary to ring fence local operations. Interestingly, nearly all the major foreign lenders even those who do not have banking operations in India use India as a back office to support their global operations.